Okay, so it doesn't matter how clean you keep your pantry, it is possible from time to time to get weevils throughout the pantry. It's through no fault of your own whatsoever. Now I keep a very clean and organized pantry, but it even happens to me from time to time. And the main reason why people get weevils is simply because it's in the flour or some sort of product that you brought from the shops. So what it comes down to is there's really no way to prevent it from actually happening to you. But I'm gonna show you a fantastic way to make sure that you get rid of the problem completely. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna take out everything that is in your pantry. And obviously you wanna clean out the offending container Make sure it's in hot soapy water, just to ensure you remove any traces. Okay, next I have a solution here of pure vinegar. Don't water it down, you want 100% vinegar. So we're gonna spray it throughout the entire pantry. And what this will do is kill any larvae that are in your pantry. So once you've sprayed it, let it rest for about five minutes, then get some paper towel and give it a very good wipe out. Just so it's all nice and dry and clean. And once it's completely dry, just place all your containers back. And as one final step, once it's all nice and clean, we're going to use some moth traps. Now these are called pantry moth traps. Now there are a number of brands available. Honestly, they all work exactly the same, so you can use whichever brand you like. Basically, you get a board like this, and it's a sticky board, and you just pull the sheeting off. So the moths are actually gonna stick to this board. Let's place that there, we got um, baits here. These are actually attract the moths. So we'll just take that off. And there usually be a little square there. So you just put that on the square and you just seal it up like so. Okay, so you have the lure just inside. That's what attracts the moths. The moths are going to fly in there and get stuck to this glue board. So we're just going to place that inside the pantry. So any moths that have hatched since will just fly into that and it will take care of your entire moth problem. And just to show you different brands work the same, I installed this one about a month ago. And as you can see, it's actually caught a couple of moths. And there's a couple more just inside there. And I haven't seen a moth in this house for since I actually used one of these. Now I don't have a moth problem, but I did have a weevil problem a few weeks ago. But since doing these simple steps, I haven't seen a single weevil or a single moth anywhere. So as annoying as it can be, it is very simple to fix, but just make sure you do it as soon as you see the first one. Otherwise, they'll get into the rest of your food. Then you'll have to throw a lot more food out, and plus you'll have a bigger weevil problem or a moth problem, and it's just more that you have to clean. So by doing it this way, it takes literally five minutes to do, and your problem is solved. Thank you for watching this episode of Home Handy Hints. Please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time for another Home Handy Hint. Mm -hmm.